What's up guys, Tej here and you're watching X Official Tech. I'm bringing this video too late because I got some work to do in the college. So, sorry for that. So in this video, we are going to install Viper for Android in Android 11 based custom rooms. So without further delay, let's get started. Let's talk about the requirements. Firstly, you need a smartphone which has capable of uh, installing Android 11 in your smartphone. So uh, here I'm using Redmi 4A which has support to install nice. Android 11 based custom rooms. So and uh, and magic has to be installed in your smartphone as well. Um, as you can see, I have successfully installed magic in my device. Yeah, here you can see. And uh, if you don't know how to install Magisk Manager in uh, Android 11 based custom rooms, you can check it out. I gave that link in the i button, you can check it out okay. and know how to install Magisk. So after that, open Magisk Manager and uh, click this button. And I gave one link in the description, you have to download that file, which is Viper 4 Android. As you can see, I will show you yeah here it is in this decart yeah here you can see the viper 4 android file so coming to the procedure click on install from storage and uh, choose the file i have the file in my sd card download and this folder yeah here it is and click on it and shows this image flashing image here so wait for the procedure this process will take about uh, one or two minutes so don't panic and don't click any buttons wait for it two thousand years later yeah the flashing is going to complete now it is installing viper 4 android yeah now done so for this you need to reboot to your smartphone i say wiper 4 android is the best equalizer to install in custom rooms not the dolby you can see many options in viper 4 other than dolby atmos so i prefer viper 4 android to, to be installed in custom rooms and it consumes more battery other than the uh, audio effects that is given in your smartphone in your software so it's booting up After booting, we have to check whether it is installed. Yeah. Let me check whether. Yeah. Here you can see Viper has oh been installed God. in the device. Wow. I just open it and see how it works. I'll show you the options that is given to Viper 4 Android. Yeah, you have to grant the magic permission, root permission, as you can see here. Oh no! <laughs> and it automatically installs the driver and uh, it will reboot your device automatically. So don't panic and don't click any buttons. Oh shit! Here we go again. So it is restarting my phone. So it takes about uh, one or two minutes. Yeah. It's booting up. This is my boot animation. If you have any doubts, you can comment below. And instead of any Technopile uh, doubts, you can ask me in the comments below. And you can email me as well. So let's check whether Viper has installed the drivers. 
I just opened it. As you can see, every every option is very different, and uh, you need to understand this app. I just I will show you. Yeah, this is the version and driver whether it is enabled in your smartphone. It says no. So for that, you need to enable the master limiter. As you can see, yeah. No help check. Yeah, it says no enable. But if you play any song, I'll I will play any song. For this, you need to enable these options. Two options. Two options as well. So now check whether it is running. It says nothing. So as you can see, everything is being changing. Okay. So in the notification shared, you can see a uh, speaker collector tab for more options notification by Viper for Android FX. So this is very handy and uh, useful equalizer that is very suitable for many custom rooms and uh, in some custom rooms Viper for Android is pre-installed. So I am using Android 11 based custom room so I don't have a pre-installed in my device. So I just uh, installed from to show you how to install Viper for Android. So that's it for this video. So if you have any doubts regarding this you can comment below and uh, if you want me to do any videos on, on the topics you want you can comment below and uh, I will try to make those videos as well and um, if you have any doubts regarding the electronics and softwares you can tell you can also ask me in the comments and if you like this video like share and subscribe to my channel and that will be more support to me.